it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, September 2nd. So welcome to the new moon in Virgo day. We will be building in this energy pretty much all day because the new moon in Virgo does not pop off until 9.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So of course, we're still kind of learning to adjust to some of the energies that just popped off here on the first, which of course I'm talking about Uranus's retrograde and Pluto creeping back into the Capricorn energy. Definitely has a heaviness, a weight to it that we're still not very comfortable in or adjusting well to. And this new moon in Virgo, the dark phase of the moon, definitely going to emphasize those darker thoughts, those darker emotions, those problematic areas. And again, that's the whole point of the dark phase of the moon is to illuminate the parts of life that aren't working so well, that we no longer want to experience, that we no longer want to tolerate. So of course, the framework here is to come up with something better an alternative that would be a little bit more encouraging and pleasing to the certain situations and circumstances that of course we're done with. And that is how we plant the seeds, the new moon intentions for us to be building upon. If you haven't downloaded your moon guide for this event, I'm going to recommend you do so. If you haven't listened to the astro forecast for this particular event, I'm going to recommend you do that. And of course, there is a forecast out there for Uranus's retrograde, for Pluto's retrograde. And of course, that feeds off of the September energy forecast there are zodiac forecasts for your downloading pleasure as well you can download them one by one from my website or access all 12 by becoming a patreon member with all of that being said the moon is still very much in this virgo energy we just shifted into this virgo energy late last evening we have a lot to process we have a lot to analyze we have a lot to pick apart we have a lot of awareness to bring to ourselves as we are in this ever-changing landscape of energies and physical circumstances and now changing of the heart, changing of the mind in order for us to change past, change directions. All of that is definitely kind of, you know, enveloped in a nice little bundled package for you in that astral forecast and in that moon guide. So we will have the moon in Virgo building in this intensity. And again, major pressure on our headspace. It is ruled over by Mercury, ruler of the mental plane. And so there is a lot of pressure in the headspace. If you haven't listened to the Ascension forecast, I put out there for this week that goes into detail why we feel the way that we feel with some of these energy shifts. I'm definitely going to recommend that you do that as well. So with all of that being said, there are 11 different aspects popping off here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Virgo energy going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. So that north node is trying to get us to think about moving on, moving forward, to think about our future, to think about what we could fix, what we could heal, what we could grow into. This is a beautiful interaction because, of course, the moon in Virgo focuses in on the smaller steps needed in order to kind of bridge the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. We are analyzing, we are evaluating, we are reprocessing, we are thinking thinking of different options and opportunities and variables to actually make a move to move on to move forward. Now, heads up, we're making no moves right now. This is a time of rest, of reflection, okay? So we can think about the moves that we want to make, but we're not actually making them. We're planning, we're strategizing, we're building up this alignment between our heart and head so that we can execute the plan, the strategy that we're currently percolating on. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who, of course, is in Gemini energy. Virgo, Gemini energy, they have one commonality. What is that? Mercury. Mercury rules both over the Virgo energy and the Gemini energy. And of course, Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, is currently in Leo energy, trying to get heart and head aligned. So the moon interacting with Jupiter, who wants us to grow, who wants us to basically take the tough love life lessons that we've already learned and integrate them so deeply that we use those particular life lessons to kind of gauge what we should do, what we shouldn't do, where it is that we could do things better, where it is that we want to grow we want to heal we want to improve our lives from here now Jupiter always brings optimism always brings confidence especially with thinking about futuristic 
goals, dreams, and visions. The beautiful thing is, is that we're leaning in one path, one choice point, one decision over the other at this particular juncture, and we're feeling pretty good, pretty positive about it. Emotionally speaking, although there is a lot of details to still kind of iron out, this Virgo energy is helping us to see the greater, grander picture, and then focus in on the smaller pieces needed for us to actually get there. Again, we're in adjustment phase, and it's never fun. However, we need to make some changes, some adjustments to our physical realm to break us free from the path, from the direction that we have been walking in order to pivot and start pursuing something new. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in her rulership in Libra energy. She's trying to bring peace and harmony and balance, not only to her heart space, not only to her emotions, not only to her relationship dynamics, but to her overall physical realm. Of course, this is going to really highlight for us where certain aspects of our physical realm are working, the good things. We're plucking out the silver linings. We're focused on all the things that are working because we want to create more of that. This particular interaction is definitely going to illuminate new wants, needs, and desires and where it is that we have the ability to kind of tweak our physical realm right now. Again, making those adjustments in order to support growth, to support healing, to support a new foundation and structure for us to actually be working in to create a realm and reality that not only looks good, but feels good as well. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, ruler of this new moon in Virgo. Mercury is going to be trining with Chiron. Mercury is in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. It's a fire energy. Chiron, the wounded healer, is retrograde in Aries energy, a fire sign. And so this trine is a beautiful nudge in the right direction. We are thinking more positively. We're thinking more heart aligned. We are seeing this new version of self from a great perspective. We are building in our ability to see how much we've grown, how much we've healed, and what we're actually capable of at this particular juncture. The fire energy, of course, is going to help us burn through and in the any of the funky thoughts and feelings that we have been stuck in really kind of help regenerate a fire, a spark, a flame, an excitement, an inspiration, a passion for us to move on and move forward. The moon in Virgo, then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is now retrograde in Capricorn energy. So this is earth on earth action. We're definitely seeing in our physical realms where it is that we do have the ability to kind of remove some aspects of our physical realm that are not supporting and encouraging this new growth, this new energy, this new effort to heal, to move on, to move forward. Again, we love Pluto energy and Virgo energy interacting because Pluto energy takes us on a deep dive in our psyche where the programming, the conditioning is definitely still alive and well. The Virgo energy, of course, analyzes the lower level of the mental plane, meaning we can flip the script. We can analyze where it is that the programming, the conditioning of our upbringing is preventing us from moving on, preventing us from seeing the structures, the foundations that we want to be building. And at this particular juncture, this is mostly about what we have to remove, what we have to close the door on, what we have to bring to a completion point and a finality. Now, anytime that we're interacting with Pluto, there's always going to be an intensity. And this particular particular intensity is not only in our heart space and our head space, but a major focus on our physical realms. What needs to stay? What needs to go? Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, then going to make a positive interaction with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces energy, his rulership. This is a beautiful interaction because we're receiving some intuitive insights that we are essentially able to make sense of right away. We are gaining a visual. We are gaining downloads of what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to pursue from here. Again, tapping into a new creative force energy, a new imaginary type of energy as well for us to really put ourselves in a situation to visualize where it is that we want to end up again that mercurial energy helping us to break down the smaller pieces of what we need to do to actually get there and of course mercury and leo energy the heart and soul of the zodiac we need to be bold and brave and courageous enough to fully express our wants needs and desires and then tap into that confidence that we're now currently building in in order to make the changes the adjustments needed in order to bring a certain closure to our lives to free us up to actually pursue this new goal this new vision this new dream 
the moon in Virgo, then going to make a tough interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. So just when we have this download, just when we've received this insight, just when our higher self is giving us a little bit of clarity on what we're excited to do and pursue, suddenly that Virgo energy, we just press pause, okay? We press pause because we really need to think about it. We can't just be acting on a whim. We have to come up with a proper plan, a proper strategy on how it is that we, again, are going to close the door on the old and open up the new door to the new. And until we actually figure out those smaller, finer details, we are not willing to go any further than just holding this goal, this vision, this dream in our mind. And so this harsh interaction is right now, we're not sure how to get there. We're not sure where to start. We're not sure the steps to take. That's okay. We have to identify the problem before that Virgo energy is going to help us fix it. The sun in Virgo energy, then going to make a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Gemini energy. So again, Virgo, Gemini, what do we have in common? Mercury. Mercury is in the heart and soul of the Zodiac. So we're always coming back to make sure that our heart space is kind of focused on what we want to do and that our head is agreeing with it. Now, the sun shining a bright light in this Virgo energy is showing us in our physical realm where there's room for adjustment, where there's room for improvement. The Mars energy, because this is a positive interaction, we're motivated, we're inspired, we're excited. We are determined to do what we have to do to make the adjustments needed in order for us to pivot, closing the door on one particular option, one path, one direction, and open this new door up to what we're very excited, very inspired to now do, to now pursue. The sun is going to give us a little bit more willpower, a little bit tenacity, a little bit of spice, if you will, to stay motivated, to stay focused on that end goal. The moon in Virgo then going to make an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who of course is retrograde in these Aries energies, which means that we're questioning. We're questioning who it is that we are. We're questioning where it is that our motivation and inspiration is coming from. The questioning is the Virgo energy. There's nothing wrong with that. But because this is a new version of self that we're working with, we still don't fully understand our boundaries or parameters. We know we've grown. We know we've healed to a certain extent, but we don't know our full stop familiar type of energy and what we're actually capable of. This is kind of like us kind of testing the boundaries within ourselves, beating ourselves up, picking ourselves apart to see if, again, we have healed those particular self-confident, self-esteem wounds and whether or not we're feeling strong enough to actually take this new challenge on. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars. So again, we have Virgo energy and Gemini energy. We're checking back with our headspace. We're checking back with our heart space. Emotionally speaking, this is a little bit of a reminder feeding off of the sun's interaction with Mars. This is a little bit of a reminder what we're passionate about, what we're excited about, what we're motivated to do, to change, to adjust, to transform in order to set ourselves free, to pursue a new path in a new direction. 9.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Virgo comes up to, bumps into, teams up with the sun in Virgo, and this is what gives us our new moon. So again, please download the moon guide, take a listen to the astro forecast for this moon event, and listen to your zodiac forecast to understand where this particular energy is illuminating a particular area of your life.